Hello, Clarys. It is I. Okay, so look, you're right. I felt bad because you guys, like, didn't get the, um, Thunderdome because, like, Capricorn kind of, like, snuck in and grabbed the sod. Fuck it, I'm gonna do another one for you anyway. Because you guys are winners, too. So we're gonna see what's going on with you and your person. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Don't go in on me. Don't drag me. Unless you want me to drag you. And you won't like it when I do that. <clears throat> Nobody does. So. It's... No whammy. So this is group one, right? Remember, cross watchers or whoever. You switch around to who one fits with the other, but you get the drill. You pick who the fuck you are. So, group one. Queen of Wands are here. Sagittarius Leo or Aries. Someone in total bitch mode, expecting shit for themselves. Be impatient. What you want, group one, is that family settings with the Ten of Cups right here. Uh, fear or rejection that somebody who's making an offer you, either a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, is, um... It's not a good offer. Situation, Seven of Swords, someone was being a sneaky sneaker son. And it's got this Queen of Wands here being really impatient about things. Six of Cups, reverse, and the obstacles and challenges coming against you, taking something from the past as a reference to the future. Possibly a person. Then we have the Five of Wands. In the catalyst and final result, the beginning and the end. What started this shit, what will end this shit? The end of petty arguments. Or trying to end some petty arguments. Or people who need to stop being petty aren't being petty, so someone's just gonna find a way of ending it. Ace of Swords is the beginning theme. It's reversed, though. So it's like there's it's something that somebody's really not clear about or understanding. <clears throat> Lack of clarity going on, which I can totally see because it's like. This spread's kind of Jake. <laughs> Like, it, it's pretty jakey. It's, it's, it's jake as fuck, honestly. It's just like, mm. I feel like someone, like, was sneaking around? With some, in a family situation, and now, like... Mm. Okay, let's say this is a family setting, and someone was, like, doing something naughty in the background, right? This person is looking back at, you know all those times when we were supposed to go on those trips together? Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Because I'm starting to think that everything you told me was bullshit, you know? And that's where a lot of the conflicts come from, so I kind of feel like it's one of those things, right? I'm not sure where this Queen of Wands fits so far, because it's like impatience. She was waiting for something. Oh, okay. Um, and she bested somebody who decided to walk off? I think she, okay, she's waiting for somebody to come back to her, like... She's got her posse here, just all sitting here waiting, like, are you going to come back over here and be on my side? And the person's like, nope. And they walked off from her. Okay, that makes more sense. This might have been the person doing the sneaking, then. That's probably who this Queen of Wands is. So this could be you, or this could be the person you're dealing with, group one. Whichever one. Seven of Swords. Someone's, um, yeah, someone's trying to get away with some sneaky stuff. Based on what I think... I think it's based on a choice of what'll make them the most peace. Like, I don't necessarily think this is a... The Seven of Swords in this deck is about thievery or doing some deceptive shit entirely as much as this is just trying to almost escape or get away without getting caught. And I don't necessarily think that it's entirely a bad thing. Because after all, someone's like, come over here. And you were like, nope. So. Ten of Cups. Someone's want and wish was this family setting. This la la la. Family setting. This, uh. Completion emotionally. Like, you have everything you need right here. You know, that commitment in order to get that achievement. 
might be looking for somebody to actually talk to in a higher position or maybe somebody who speaks to um, whatever um, belief that you have they lead that in some way you might be talking to a pastor of sorts or just somebody who are who's a specialist in knowing this kind of stuff right could be dealing with the Taurus right here someone's definitely looking for commitment or marriage or just something to connect them um yeah they opened their heart out and it just didn't work out because the other person just wasn't doing anything or they didn't think that they were working hard enough. You know, like, you know, you know you're supposed to drill a hole in that pillar, right? Yeah, well, I just wanted to make a smiley face. Chuck, no, look at you like, that, you, that's not what we're here for. Yeah, well, I want to make a smiley face, you know, like, this person opened up and they were very disappointed with how little the person actually put in effort. Okay. Six of Cups reversed. The obstacle and challenge coming against you. Group one. Taking stuff from the past as a reference towards the future. Ah. You know. Yeah. You're taking your cup, so you're not even accepting the package that's being given to you now. Because you already know. Um, last time, it wasn't that great. So it's just like, you know what? I'm just... Look, Marvin, you're just going to have to stay with him. That's, that's the only person they deserve to love. I'm out. You know. Like, this person tried to look like a martyr, like, she seduced me, but in reality, they got in the boat with the bitch and actually, like, was the one who was steering the boat to where they could go. And now they're just coming out like, oh, we don't know, but no, no, you you know, because you were both in the cave. Just because she told you to come out does not mean you had to, like, steer the boat, you know? That's what someone's looking at with this obstacle. It's like, they know... That stuff is going on. They're figuring it out slowly. Um, and how everything was kind of a waste of time for them to invest in. Seven of Pentacles. Sunny side reverse. Hmm. Like, I feel this is like, I just want to tear up this tree because, like, I, I, I hate this tree now. I wish I never bought this tree. Yeah, you know, wish you never dealt with the, like, regrets for what was put in after all this time. Just because the end result didn't work out. So, don't get into that kind of energy of feeling like it was all a waste of time. Because, like, it's never a waste of time if you're learning something. Especially if you're learning that the person you're dealing with is kind of, you know, Jake. Alright. Brian says the Pentacles. Capricorn towards a Virgo's card. Someone could be trying to make an earthly, um, very solid offer, but the Princess of Pentacles is reversed, so usually this is like, this is an offer from somebody who's a complete idiot, or just doesn't know how to, um, really... Uh, Write checks or ask in cash. Wait, I don't know why I did it like that, but that's okay. I did that earlier for somebody else. Um, I'm just gonna look at these. Alright. If someone had a dream... That dream went elsewhere into the darkness. While well, reality, this entire world, has turned its back on this dream in order to be a little bit more grounded. Well, this person went out to be a knave. This person stuck around and, like, built on their foundation. I'm not worrying about the fantasy. Right? Right. So... Okay, this offer, this fear of rejection, this, this is rejected because this is based on, like, someone crying over their spilt milk. You know, like, they still don't understand they did it to themselves. They might figure it out when the eclipse comes up. They might not, because that's an eclipse sun. But we'll figure it out once we get there. But, yeah, this person's, um, group one, you're recognizing that, uh, 
this offer is, is shit because it's based on somebody's uh They feel more sorry about getting caught than actually doing the thing. Because I still got um, red and black Betty's cups over here, like, waiting to be drink out of still after the other ones all got caught up and knocked over. Five of Wands, reverse. Ending the battles. No more petty fighting. No more trying to engage. Leo's card, Strength, but it's Shadow Side. It's like, um... Not fighting out of fear. Okay, so this is like a person who, um, group one. Mmm. He's just, mmm, okay. Like, two very different creatures tried to be together. The one was a little bit more prideful than came to her emotions and just took off uncarefully. I think this person is afraid to fight over what they've done or even be exposed to it. What's the ending theme? Yeah, because that's what started this and that's what will end it. It's like someone was too much of a coward to face what they've done. Like the devil's right here and it's just kind of like, yeah, you know, you gotta come with me when you murder somebody. Like you can't keep feeding people to your pet lion. Chick, I don't care how fun you think it is, like, you gotta go to jail. Come on, Greg, you're going to jail. <laughs> okay, what's the ending theme? Ah! Looking like a pipe dream. But on the more materialistic side, like, someone could have had all their stuff furnished, but it's just like... They do, but they're missing the point somewhere. It's just like, yes, I'm getting my wish granted, but why do I feel so off? It's just kind of like, oh, I don't know. I, 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 I can't imagine why. <laughs> I feel like they got what they wanted because, like, they confuse things. But it's going to bring hubris, too. Um, they got their back turned, group one. But, um, you know, you got your back turned because, like, you know, th this is, like, kind of like, mm, like, let me just turn my back. Golf dolphin, protect me. You know, not giving your cup in this situation. You're not seeing, like, you're not seeing if you should even start anything now. At least not with this person group one. Yeah, and like, this shit didn't work in the past when their father did it. I don't know what makes them think that it's gonna work this time. You know? It's like, you know, you had a choice to let this person come in and let your guard down. They didn't like convince you doing anything. They had the magician. It's like, for you, group one. So we're gonna move on to group two. Boop de boo. Okay, so group two. Let's see what's going on on your side. Oh my goodness, I'm like so sleepy. It is nap time for real. For rizzle my nizzle before I get all the jizzle. I'm a fizzle. I don't know if that made sense. Like, I, I kind of like half of it did. I already knew the answer to, but you know. Anyway, group two, we're going to be looking at you. I guess those are your first cards. Still upholding a relationship with a lot of value, and your wants wish is a king of pentacles who might be a mooch or thinks that you owe him something. He's coming for it to get a debt paid. Or you're wanting somebody to pay a debt to you like it's owed to you. Like you, you know, I'm like, I want my money and I deserve it right now. 
No enemies. Fears of rejection. Oh, you're you're not even. <laughs> like whatever like group one was thinking with their little hubris wish, like you're just like nah. Just nah. Like completely rejecting it. Queen of Swords could be you, Aquarius, also a Libra or Gemini. Scorned woman. Obstacle and challenge coming against you is the Eight of Cups right now. Or you're looking at when you were scorned. And then we got Gemini's card right here with the lovers. Could definitely be done with the Gemini. And the beginning theme is the moon. Pisces or Cancer. A lot of secrets surrounding somebody. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm guessing like group one was not. Hmm. Someone is definitely upset. Pentacles over here. Someone upheld a relationship a lot higher than they did themselves. And, you know, it, it just feels like it just bit them right in the ass at the house. It, it really does. It just is like, you know, it became a destructive, like, conflict that just went about, right? I don't, I wouldn't say codependent as much as it is pride that they had in a relationship. But now it's like they're starting to see that they made themselves silver instead of gold. And they need to recover from that with the Four of Swords. Actually, recover. Have the time to recover. Like, take the time to recover. Queen of Swords, reverse. Once again, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. So this could be you, Aquarius. Woman scored. She's going to stab everybody and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Unless, I mean, like, there could be. But then they just get stabbed too, so like you might as well just stand out of the way so it doesn't happen as quick. Yeah, based on like the feelings of loss, emotions, the cups being spilled over, some cancer energy in that. Your wants and wishes group two. King of Pentacles. Either someone feels owed something or someone feels like there's a moocher just hanging out and shit. Possibly even a liar. Supposed to be a provider, but isn't doing his part. Um, they want this person because it makes them happy. Could be Leo as well. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini. Okay, so you want this person knowing that they're like a bamboozler because they do make you genuinely happy. Okay. Uh, obstacle and challenge coming against you with the Eight of Cups, like, kind of sticking in that past where you lost your shit because you got your feelings hurt really bad. Like, lost whatever position of logic you did a hold. Possibly with this Queen of Pentacles reverse. So this could be the same person, this Queen and King, or they could be counterparts, right? But unfaithful spouse, when she's reversed, very demanding, expects people to do things for her. Um, could be a controlling, overbearing mother. Hmm. I don't know if they're the same person, though, but it's kind of like, um... This might be, group two, how you felt. Like you were that angry. You kind of lost your position as the nurturing, caring mother figure with a lot of maturity, and you just became the queen of swords. Like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to burn the couch. It's a Tuesday anyway. We'll just pretend WVU won a, won a game. <laughs> Let's see. Ace of Swords, reverse. Confusion. Lack of clarity. I think you're rejecting that because, like... Group one had um, 
the sword, the ace of swords in their uh, beginning theme, and now you got it in their rejections for you. So it's like, ah, uh, what are you? Yeah, you're not buying his shit. You're not buying the fact that he's upright. You know that he's like reverse. I think you know he's reverse, and you know that that makes him happy. Being a reverse king of pentacles makes him happy. Yeah, and, and he's in the dark too, so you don't even know if that person is there or not. And the catalyst as well as the final result, beginning, ending, all that shit, what started it, what ended it, lovers reverse, separation, and still not entirely sure in the dark. God, if I could talk, that is how tired I am. Still not sure about whether or not this, uh, love even could possibly exist, because it's in the dark so much right now. Okay, so what's the ending theme? Seven of Cups. Someone feels emotionally drained because of all of these illusions and stuff by the moon. Uh, their emotions are being left out of whack, but you're very much aware that this dude is just part of that dark illusion that's going on, too. I think you're very aware. Last three cards, and then we're done. Yay. So, this one. The burden's almost over group two, so that's not a bad thing. You had to walk away a little bit rough, but, you know, it's nothing too terribly horrible. At least you know that this dude won't be following you. Um... You might, like, feel like you need to hold yourself back and just chill for a little bit. Get that beast in you a bit tame before you take off and do anything else. Um, mostly because you're not sure if you're, like, calm or patient enough to deal with, like, extra travels anywhere. And you do still have, like, this lack of clarity when it comes to, like, this whole, what can I build with my own world, right? Especially considering, like, even the devil can't help work things out between y'all. Mm -hmm. You're still willing to put up a fight for things, though. I feel like you'll still fight this person off if you need to. You're almost at the end anyway. Like, you're very, very close to getting yourself back to where you need to be. Yeah, don't let this guy come in and just, like, try to, like, make you believe that his candle's brighter than the sun. That's gonna cause issues. It's like, he sees this, he's just like, oh, this is dangerous for me. I better go in and, like use my candle to be like, hey, lightning, you stop right now. Like, don't let that person do that. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, bad judgment on this one. Bad judgment all around on this. Like, don't deal with this guy. Things are about to get rough for him, right? Great, Aquarius, that's a bonus for you, and that is the end of the reading. Yay. Thank you for watching my video. I'm not taking personals until after the 10th, but if you're interested in one, my email is down below. And I don't charge, but I do take tips and donations, so have at it with that if you wish. Um, I think that's pretty much it, so yeah, I think that's all I gotta talk about, so like, share, and subscribe if that's what you wanna do, and I will see you later. I'm gonna take a nap. Bye-bye.